Hey guys, Radder and Shades here, because I was my first to memorize rights vlog style. An interesting, I guess, fact about me is, um, from when I was 14 until when I was 16, this was the summer of 2008 until the summer of 2010, I went to a performing arts camp located in the, a little town in the Catskills called Hancock, New York, called Frenchwoods Festival of the Performing Arts. Let me just make a shout out for anybody watching this who either goes there or used to go there who may remember me. So, yeah. So basically throughout those three summers, that place basically became a home to me. It was one of my favorite places ever. And over the course, during the following school year, I'd just be, you know, counting down the days angrily to when, you know, I'd be packing up to take that five-hour bus ride up to New York for a good session or two up there. I loved it there. I made some great friends there. I did a lot of really cool shit there. Made some great music and had a lot of fun. Now, the summer of 2008, which was my first time up there, that was a very iconic summer, not just because it was my first time up there, but something happened that year, that summer. So, in the monthly newsletters that they would send out to campers, I remember reading that there, were going, there was going to be a, a crew from MTV up there with cameras filming you know, goings on around the place, and naturally, I got excited, because MTV, it's this popular fucking station that so many people watch, maybe I will be on, and maybe, you know, the MTV audience can be exposed to what an awesome place Frenchwoods is, and keep in mind, this is important, this was before I learned the truth about MTV and their agenda, how they don't show music videos anymore, or at least not as much, and how it's pretty much all based on fucking reality shows. I think this was before Jersey Shore, because um, this was like 2008, 2009 when this thing was happening. But anyway, I was excited. I even got a little bracelet, a rope bracelet, in the mail the following month after I signed a waiver confirming that it was okay for my face to be shown and all that. I received a bracelet in the mail that I would wear to confirm that I was comfortable with having my face on camera. So yeah, I was excited. Now, looking back, I realized that I basically confused the MTV camera crew and the Frenchwoods video staff because I remember seeing cameras all over the place at many different kinds of events, be they plays, be they concerts, be they other goings-on around the place. I was seeing cameras a lot. I forgot to mention Frenchwoods, um, like I said, it's a performing arts camp. It mainly specializes in theater. There's a lot of actors there, but you can pretty much do anything there. I mean, what I did, I mainly you know, made music, played in bands, recorded. I remember my, my first summer there, that was the first time I had ever been in a studio. I recorded my first song. It was a great experience. And also, you know, I was also, you know, hanging around with friends, uh, meeting some girls, all that. So, about half a year goes by after I get home, and I remember this is, like late April, like the end, I guess, of April break, or maybe the weekend after. But I remember, it was a Sunday morning, I was sleeping, and my mom wakes me up to tell me that Camped Out is finally gonna be showing after all this time. So I rushed out of bed, um, got the DVR set up to record the thing, got some food ready, because I was really excited to see what MTV was going to show in this program. And man, Jesus. 
all those things I was really looking forward to see. Nope. Not going to show them. Instead, this ass, this bare ass dangles above my head. And what happens? Shit on my face. All over my face. My face was completely shat on by MTV. Not just my face, but so many other people's faces. Shat on. That show was such dog shit. It was so annoying what they, what they did. Again, keep in mind that this was before I knew that MTV was really about reality shows, but they pretty much just took this whole concept and turned it into a reality show. It was just three hours worth of these assholes just following these whiny ass bitches around complaining about how they didn't get the lead part in this play or so and so doesn't like me or I miss my life back home where everything was perfect and I can't have a relationship with this guy because he's now a counselor and we can't have, you know, camper counselor relationships, just drama out the ass. That's all this was. And I was mortified. I was disgusted with what I was being subjected to. I could have stopped. Re looking back, I know I could have stopped. But I just stayed hopeful. Not, not just hoping that I would be on ca camera somehow, but there would be some positive endorsements. You know, MTV just, you know, telling its audience that, hey, Frenchwoods, it's a really great place. You meet some awesome people, do some awesome shit, like, you know, being in plays, you know, being, you know, performing ensembles, being circus, or, or do anything, really. But no, MTV doesn't do that at all. Instead, we get this fucking shit. So after I was done watching the whole thing, I went on Facebook and posted how angry I was about what I saw, and left and right, there were, you know, a bunch of my camp friends just, you know, commenting, you know, how they too were disgusted at what they were seeing. It completely misrepresents French Woods. That's what the main problem I had with it is. Because, you know, if anybody, you know, outside of the French Woods audience is watching this, they're just gonna look at it and see, oh, wow, everybody there is such a spoiled fucking brat, and all they do is just whine and carry on. No, that's not what happens there. What happens there is, you know, you congregate with people from all over the world who have a passion for performing. I've met some of the, some great friends, a lot of which I still keep in touch with today on Facebook, on Skype, I still keep in touch with a lot of these people because I was very fortunate to have been able to meet them. I had some great experiences there, and you could be having those experiences too. I can't express enough. If you're looking for something to do, you know, if you love performing or making music or anything, just give Frenchwoods a shot. You will not regret it. Those were some of the best summers of my life. And you could be having those too. But this fucking MTV dog shit, it's just going to give such a terrible fucking impression. I, I hear from people, you know, that they still, you know, rerun, I guess. They still show it again, like a rerun. It's just as shitty as it ever was. They complain still at how much of a piece of shit this fucking show was. <sighs> So that, I guess, sums up my review, I guess, of this fucking terrible waste of time. So, unless you want to see it to believe it, I really wouldn't recommend you checking this out. Uh, I'm going to link a review of, uh, a professional review of this thing down in the description if you want to check it out. So, have a good day, everybody. I'm Shades, and I'll see you next time.